along to my YouTube channel. If you're new around here, my name's The Gobby Gaffer and I play Football Manager 2023. Uh, they don't call me The Gobby Gaffer for nothing. Yes, I waffle quite a lot. I'm currently managing Borussia Much and Gladbach in the Bundesliga. It's a one club save and I'm in my second season there. Going quite well at the moment. So let's dive straight in, shall we? In today's episode, the checkbook is definitely out. Yes, I'm not messing about. There's one or two positions I'm not very happy with. Left wing back, not happy at all. The Spanish lad I brought in, not looking great to be quite honest. Let's have a quick look at his stats. Adria Pedroza, he should be a very, very good player in that left wing back role. If you look at his stats, should be very, very good. However, if we look at the history here, he's made six appearances this season, 6.57. Last season, he made 11 appearances, one assist, one player a match, 6.79, not great. So like I say, the checkbook is out, let's have a quick look. So there's three players due to come in, they're not signed yet. All contracts have been offered. Hopefully nobody else comes in for them. The transfer window isn't open. So generally when you're going for players outside of the transfer window, nobody else will come in for them. So hopefully I will get these. There's two Germans and one Spanish lad. Let's have a quick look at them. So the first player that's hopefully joining us is a 19-year-old German, Sanusi Bar. Two star with the potential to be four and a half. We've, we've brought him in for very cheap money indeed. His stats look very, very good for a 19-year-old. There's a lot that we have to work on, but given the fact that we've only got nets on that left-hand side, if the Spanish lad isn't going to perform, we need some more cover there. But with that in mind, I have got another player coming in as well. So again, another German lad, 24-year-old Felix Agu. He's coming in as a three and a half star with the potential to be four. Again, some of his stats do need a little bit of work but he can play either right wing back or left wing back. He's either footed, uh, he's fairly strong left footed, very strong right footed. So he can, I mean, mainly probably will play on the right hand side, but he can play on that left hand side as well. So we've got some nice cover there. Then they're taking a little bit of a risk here, given the fact that I've already got a wing back who is Spanish, who is not playing very well. I brought another Spanish lad in, 19 year old Ivan, Fresneda. Now, he's a wonder kid, so you can see why I've signed him. He's coming in as a three and a half with the potential to be five, so it's a bit of a no-brainer, really. And we've not paid an awful lot of money for him, given that he's a wonder kid. Stats need a little bit of work again, but we've got another cover there for the right wing back at roll. And we've now got three wonder kids in the team. And obviously, you've already seen this lad, the 23-year-old Brazilian Tete. He's coming in in January, so... With a bit of luck, we should have four brand new players coming in. We're going to have to do a little bit of shuffling with the squad, European regulations and all that. We are quite full at the moment with quotas, so one or two players may have to go out, may have to leave. Not quite sure yet, but we do need the, the strength in depth. We do need these wonder kids coming through the door. Bear in mind, this is a one club save. I'm going to be here for a good few seasons. We should be able to see these wonder kids progressing. And we've now got three of them. What? Oh yeah, I know, you're all wondering. What happened after that 1-0 win against Borussia Dortmund in the last episode? Well, let's go and have a look, shall we? So the next game along was a home game against uh, Bayer Leverkusen. Nice 2-1 win in that one. Chucked a little friendly in there just to keep legs fresh while there was a, a European break on. Then we came back and we paid, played Paderborn, who were new into the Bundesliga this season. Scraped to 1-0 against them, wasn't very convincing. Maybe the players had the first uh, Europa League game on the mind. And uh, it seemed to be that, really, because we played at Milan and we got beat 4-2. We weren't very good in that game at all and uh, we got a bit smashed to be honest but there you go. We didn't have a Europa League hangover and the next game out uh, Stuttgart came to uh, Borussia Park and we beat them 4-0. Nice little win there. Then we played Dusseldorf. One of those games again didn't look like we'd ever seen a football before. We conceded four goals. Okay, we scored two, but we, we're conceding goals at the moment, which is not great. And I'm having to tweak the tactic a little bit to try and stop that ball hitting the back of our net. 
Next game along then was the uh, third of Bremen game at home and uh, we beat them 1-0. Again, another very, very tight victory. And in today's episode, we will be watching two games. We'll be watching the second game, a game in the Europa League and that's against a uh, Wolfsburger, Austrian team. I think they're about two and a half, three star rated. It's at home. I'm expecting three points out of that one. We shall have to see. And then we've got an away game against uh, Hamburg. And one final uh, bit of information that I forgot to tell you in the last episode was that uh, I did tell you about Stindl, the centre forward, 35 or thereabouts, uh, age 35. I wasn't going to renew his contract. He was on about 60 grand a week. In the end, I decided that the, the board and the, the assistant manager were coming to me and saying, uh, you know, you need to keep this player on. So we gave him another one year contract on 24 grand a week. So we reduced his wages drastically. I thought, OK, you know, if we don't sign a striker, that was before at Leonardo. I thought if we don't sign another striker, he, you know, he, he can score goals. He's not prolific, but he can score goals. Maybe he's a backup. Then we signed Leonardo. He's banging goals in for fun. Uh, Stindl is not getting a game at the moment. The problem is he is a high-ranking team leader. If he doesn't get the games between now and the end of the season, I could have a bit of a mutiny on my hands. But let's worry about that at a later date. I am giving Stindl a few games. He's coming on as sub. I am playing him now and again, so let's hope that uh, that problem doesn't rear its ugly head. Let's get stuck into some football, shall we? We'll see you in the dugout. Well, welcome along to Borussia Park for our second game in our Europa League campaign this season. The team for today is Ramirez in goal. I've lost patience with the Spanish lad at left wing back, so Elvidi is playing there today. He is a centre back, but he can play left wing back. So the back four is Elvidi, Badi Ishail, Itakura, and Bayer. Kone plays at the base of the midfield with uh, Glock and Mitcher in front of him. We've got the wingers today of Nelson and Calado, and uh, Leonardo is playing up front today. Let's hope he can bag a few goals for us and let's get three points on the board. We need it. And we're up and running. So it's Germany versus Austria. And uh, Austria have the first highlight. So it's Wolfsberger putting the ball down that side. Ball's in the back of the net. We're 1-0 down already. Is the referee going to disallow that for us? Now would be a great time to rummage for your whistle, referee. It is disallowed, so we get away with one there inside two minutes. How close was that? Oh, it was arm hairs. We all love an arm hair offside, don't we? Okay, that's fine. Right, come on, lads. What are we doing here? Let's give them a bit of encouragement. We are going to go positive straight away from balance. The ball is thrown forward there for Collado, but he doesn't pick that ball up. Yes, he does. He, he runs forward this ball, puts the ball in the bottom of the net, and uh, we've gone from being 1-0 down, disallowed, to 1-0 ahead. Very nice indeed. And that one does stand. Nice bit of work by Collado on that side. He did lose the ball initially, but he worked hard, won it back, left-footed, bottom corner. I mean, to be fair, I think the keeper... Did give him a little bit of aid there, but we'll take that all day long. So we're 1-0 ahead. And now we come back to uh, a Wolfsberger highlight. What can a Wolfsberger do in this game now? Can they actually mount some kind of a, an attack? That's, uh, and again, they're putting that ball forward. That looked offside again to me. A referee, you can rummage for your whistle again. Last time you rummaged, it was the right decision. Right decision again. So Wolfsberger have had two goals disallowed. So I've just made a little change there. I've pulled the lines back a little bit. They do seem to be finding a lot of space behind our back four. Anyway, we come back to a Reese Nelson free kick. And that is headed out. Wolfsberger coming away with the ball now. Can we pick that ball up? Can we... Uh, oh, we're just trotting around on that left wing there. We're not really bothered with the game. Can you stop trotting and run and, and do a little bit of work for the team? Played by Elvidi there, but he has lost it. That's going to go in the back of the net. Keeper very, very nearly, and that will that will get given, I think. I, I didn't see anything wrong with that, uh, 
but if you want to have another rummage referee that's fine by me no this time it's allowed and it's 1-1 one, one. so uh, pulling those lines back didn't really help us there very very poor defending and uh, we're not doing well if, if I'm honest 1-1 one, one against this team this should have been a really easy three points this is one well in fact it, this is the easiest team in the group if we can't beat them at home then uh, it's a bit of a poor do but it is our first venture into uh oh now that looked like a penalty to me it is our first venture into europe oh the referee is uh he's going for a bit of a jog he's gonna have a look at the little box let's have a little look at the little box and see what the little box says penalty review underway I think that will be given. Be surprised if it's not. Penalties awarded. Can we put this between the, the, this uh, between the two white sticks? Collado is stepping up, left footed. He's already scored one goal in the game, and he does just that. But the keeper went the right way, but under the keeper's body. So uh, we're two one up. We've got the lead back again, and uh, I think we do need to go. Maybe a little bit cautious now, leading up to the half-time whistle. So 10 minutes to half-time now. Uh, can we hold on here? Their keeper with a big hoof up field. That should be won by our players. Yep, Kone picks that up nicely. LVD. Reese Nelson down that left-hand side. Looking very, very lazy. Oh, and off the line. Yeah, he was looking very, very lazy in that first half. Wasn't prepared to uh, track back. And we're at half-time. We're 2-1 two, two ahead. And uh, I'm just going to say uh, it was a good first half performance. Keep it up. And as the second half gets underway, I've asked the lads to be a little bit more disciplined. Uh, we do seem to be a little bit lax. I've had a word with Nelson. He, uh, he needs, definitely needs to put a little bit of a shift in. Elvidi, ball into the box. Can we get ahead on that? No, we can't. Is that going to come out? That is a tremendous shot. And the keeper turns it round the post for a corner. Okay, where's our big lads here at the far post? It's an outswinger, Kone. Can he get this on somebody's head? No, he can't. Reese Nelson now. After his flea in his ear, can he do a little bit better? But he lays it off to Elvidi. 64 minutes on the clock, couple of changes. Leonardo not in the best of games, so uh, Stindl gets a little bit of a run out up front, and uh, Kramer has come on for uh, uh, Kone. And we are, we are still on that cautious mentality. We have dropped the lines back. We're playing a bit more discipline now, and that could have been the third goal. Unfortunately, just skims the top of the net, and uh, we're still 2-1 ahead, though. We're moving now into the last 15 minutes of the game. Ramirez hoofing the ball forward. Not quite sure why he's doing that. There was no press on. He's not meant to be hoofing the ball. But anyway, Bayer, Collado, lovely ball forward to Stindl. And that is going to end up in the keeper's arms. Seemed like that ball was uh, never going to go in the back of the net. Couple more changes, freshened it up in midfield. Now House and Rodriguez have come on and I've also asked the lads now to do a bit of time wasting, just try and see this game out. So we'll just confirm those changes. Hopefully we can come away with the 2-1. It's not the result I wanted really. Well, I mean, obviously it is the result I wanted, but I would have liked a few more goals, a little bit more confidence for the lads in Europe. But uh, we'll take this, we'll take a 2-1 if we can get it. Ball out onto this side here. LVD very nearly gets tackled but wins the ball. Reese Nelson, ball over there. Rodriguez fires it over the top. And if we're lucky, that'll be the last highlight of the game. But it's not. We get another highlight. And it's Wolfsberger now who are going to try and get this equaliser. Their keeper fires it long. The ball is headed back and our keeper can just pick that up, clutch it to his chest and uh, do a little bit of time wasting, which is exactly what I've told the lads to do. That's it, you keep hold of it. So Badiashile now is on this left-hand side here. Now House in midfield, ball out to Elvidi. Vidi now to Nelson, lovely ball over the top for Stendhal, and the ball ends up with the goalkeeper. 
and we are going to continue with this highlight now so the game no the game is not going to put us through the mill we have actually won the game 2-1 very nice victory indeed and we're going to give uh, the, the lads a pat on the back it's one of those usual ones great to get the result but we didn't play very well don't really like those and we are to be honest we are getting a few of those this season so I think it, it proves that all not is all is not well in the camp we're not playing as well as we could do anyway uh, so we'll have a look at the league now two games played Milan on top Sporting uh, second but uh, I think they must have played each other played out a draw four points each and we are in third place with uh, three points so we do need to beat Sporting. We definitely need to beat Sporting. And a nice a little a victory, if a very tight victory, but a nice little victory. And now we move on back into the, uh, the, the league and we're playing Hamburg away from home. So uh, we'll see you in the dugout for that one. Welcome to Hamburg for this uh, latest game in the Bundesliga. The team for today is Ramirez in goal, back four of Elvidi, Badia Schall, Itakura and Bayer. Kone is at the base of the midfield with uh, Glock and uh, Rodriguez uh, comes in for a start today. We have Nelson and Collado as the uh, wingers and we've got Leonardo up front. And the first highlight comes uh, in the 12th minute. So we have the ball, we have the first highlight. Uh, this is a Hamburg team who have lost the last five games are in the bottom three. So again, it's another game that we should be winning, but uh, we, we're still not firing on all cylinders at the moment. I'm not quite sure why that is. But uh, we're playing with a positive mentality today. I've dropped the lines back a little bit. We are away from home. And uh, as we can see here, they've got uh, they're building an attack down their left-hand side. Kone wins that ball really, really nicely. Kone has started to develop a little bit for us. Collado down that side. Is he going to cut in and have a shot? No, he's going to pass it to Rodriguez. That's two. Oh, what a shot that was from Glock. Oscar is his like to be known. What a shot that was. I mean, let's just watch that one again. So Collado this time decides not to cut inside and have him shot himself. Rodriguez to Oscar Glock what an absolute screamer that was and there was no way any keeper in the world would have got to that absolutely brilliant with one nil ahead so Ramirez with the ball short don't lose that ball there ball over the top Rodriguez to Jordan Bayer Rodriguez now with the ball again can he provide another goal for us Collado there has been bundled over in the penalty area and the referee, I don't think, is going to do, need to do too much rummage in there because uh, just blow your whistle, ref. It's a penalty, that one. Exactly. So Collado, I think, will step up and take this penalty. Left-footed, he has a great left foot on him. Can he put this one away for 2-0? Yes, he can. Sends the keeper the wrong way. 2-0 ahead. And this is uh, turning into a nice little result. There are only 16 minutes on the clock. We don't need to watch a penalty again. So we do need to try and keep it tight now. But we are playing a bit of a low block today. We're playing a little bit, although we're on a positive mentality, playing a little bit defensively, a little bit cautious at the back, hit them on the counter. And uh, the game plan at the moment is working. But we do need to keep it nice and tight. Anyway, we're back again. Hamburg now on the ball. The ball he's played through there. And... Uh, our centre-backs there forced him into an error and the, the ball goes wide. But it is a corner. Corner is swung in there to the near post and we come away with that. Kone, lovely ball there out to uh, Leonardo. Leonardo is going to do what with that? He actually loses it. Quite a decent tackle there. We get the throw-in. There is a highlight from the throw-in. Badia Shale. Out to Elvidi, Elvidi to Oscar, Glock. These, these fancy players who, who have the first names on the shirt. Anyway, so we're back with the highlight again. There's quite a little, but there's quite a lot of buffoonery going on out there at the moment. But Hamburg do come away with the ball. Coney that again with a lovely interception there, comes in nice and firm, nice and strong. The ball ends up out on that right hand side with Collado. 
I mean, that looked like another penalty. Collado's in the box and it goes over the top and the keeper saves that one. All the players are looking really glum, so I think we're going to give them a little bit of praise just before half time. And we're going to do that now. Let's see what a bit of praise does for them. Does that cheer them up? Uh, yes, it has, it said. They're all happy and smiley now. Can that happy and smiliness result in a goal? No, it can't. We don't seem to be getting our head onto these corners at the moment. We're moving smoothly now into half time. Well, we were. Another Hamburg uh, highlight. Uh, I'm guessing that Hamburg are probably going to score in this game because that's usually FM's way to keep you on your toes. It's very rare my teams like win 4 or 5 nil. And that hits the crossbar. The keeper just stands there wondering, where's the ball? I can't see it. And one of our defenders comes in and takes it off the line. Buffoonery at its highest. Half time. You're doing brilliantly. Keep it up. Let's get the second half underway. So how's Leonardo playing? He's on a 6.6. .6. Reese Nelson is on a 6.3. So I think we might be seeing a couple of changes very shortly. Picked up nicely again there. I think we can see, I mean, I don't know whether to say this or not because it's usually the kiss of death, but I think we can probably see why Hamburg are in the bottom three because their, their passing is not, not on form. We're nicking the ball off them. I'm not saying easily. We are playing very well. And as I'm speaking there, the kiss of death and Hamburg do get a goal, which is not ideal. So it's 2-1 now. We're just going to skip that because that was awful. So I promise those couple of changes. 57 minutes on the clock. Stindl has come on up front. Uh, Sanchez has come on on that uh, left wing to replace a uh, rather ineffective uh, Reese Nelson. So we're back with a highlight there for Hamburg. Hamburg are throwing the ball over onto this left-hand side. I don't know whether I shouldn't maybe go cautious in this game now. They seem to be growing in confidence. That's hit the crossbar again. And I think when the... Uh, these highlights of uh, when these uh, subs have been made I am going cautious now we need to be a little bit careful in this game we should be winning this game really easy the number of chances that we've had and there's another chance for Hamburg over the top and yes I'm to be quite honest looking at the stats there Hamburg are actually on top they've had 14 shots we've only had nine so it's Hamburg piling on the pressure again. And I didn't think that would be a sentence I would use in this game. I didn't think Hamburg would be capable. They've lost the last five games. And they're looking a really ragged outfit in the Bundesliga. But uh, they're giving us a really, really good game here. And the ball is getting played around at the back. They're playing the ball around quite confidently. They're not really hurting us at the moment. But I'm sure one of these incisive through balls probably will. And uh, our right wing back there switched off and the, the nip in there. That is that ball going to go in the back of the net and it's 2-2. Two, two. And this is very, very poor, if I'm honest. And I don't know where Hamburg have found two goals from. Like I say, their recent form has been absolutely awful. We're going to have to go attacking now. And we're going to give them a break because this is not good enough. Okay, we need to do something in this game now. And again, that is not a sentence I thought I'd be saying against Hamburg. They've been absolutely dire up to now. So I suppose it's pretty typical that this would happen to us. But anyway, two more subs on. So now House has come on as a shadow striker. And then Mietje has come on in midfield. Can we uh, nick the winner in this game? It's looking pretty dire, if I'm honest. And we have about 10 minutes left. So Ramirez is going to go along now. The ball's going to come straight back at us. And uh, there's only one team at the moment looking like they're going to win this game. And it's, it's Hamburger winning 3-2. I'm a little bit gobsmacked. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. What is going on in this game? We've conceded three goals again. Do I need to look at my central defenders? Do I need to look at my goalkeeper? Something is not right here. And now House has a great chance there to get us back into the game. Fires over the crossbar. We're going to lose this game 3-2. I'm absolutely stunned. 
Ball over the top for Nauhaus. What's he going to do with this? Rose Ed. Collado puts the ball in the back of the net. I ain't celebrating at all. These boys are going to be in for training tomorrow and it's going to be a full day of training. Absolutely abysmal performance this. I think I seriously do need to start looking at my defence and my goalkeeper because this is awful. And we're rolling into six minutes of added on time. Stindl, ball into the penalty area. Keeper straight into the... Ball is straight into the keeper's arms and uh, we don't profit from that one. This is such a poor performance. It's a core there. There's a couple of minutes left on the clock. Just get the ball in the box now. Get the ball in the box. Uh, no, that, that's giving the ball away. That's not getting the ball in the box, is it? Come on, there's some buffoonery going on here. Stick the ball forward. Stindl forward for Nauhaus. Nauhaus doesn't get it under control. And uh, Hamburg are coming away with the ball again. Ball over onto their left-hand side. We're now pushing forward way too much and uh, very nearly get caught out there. Hamburg again with another highlight. All the highlights now should be with uh, Gladbach. We should have every highlight. We should be battering the hell out of their goal. And what we're doing, we're struggling to even get possession. Ball forward there. Stindl, no he doesn't. I mean, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Really, I'm not. It's it's absolutely appalling, this. This is a dreadful, dreadful performance. Maybe a Europa League hangover. Not quite sure, but um, Bayern Munich dropped the first points they played before us today. They dropped the first points of the season. They actually only drew. So, I mean, I suppose inevitably we would draw our game as well. The game wouldn't let us catch up on them. Uh, and that is going to be, uh, I'm embarrassed by that performance. Well, Elvidi and Rhys Nelson, you can look stressed and demotivated. You're all in for training tomorrow. That was shocking. Well, uh, I need to go away and have some serious words with these players. Um, we have two wonder kids in the team. We've got Leonardo up front, who seems to have hit a dry spell, unfortunately. Uh, this team is becoming more my team now. I feel much more comfortable saying this is my team now. We should be playing much, much, much better football than this. We are still doing well in the league, however. Uh, let's have a quick look at the league table. And it's kind of similar to the situation we had last season where the second half of the season we weren't great at all. But a lot of the teams around us weren't great either. And I think that's exactly what's happening now. So, of course... Uh, uh, Bayern Munich did drop the first points of the season, so they've now won seven but drawn one. Uh, we have won six, uh, drawn one, lost one. So we're in second place after eight games with 19 points. Uh, Freiburg are in third place with 16 and uh, Eintracht Frankfurt are in fourth place with 14. So there's a little bit of a, I mean, it's only one win, isn't it? But there's a little bit of, of uh, you know, distance between us. And... Uh, like I say, Hamburg, I mean, go figure. How did we not batter this team? How did they score three goals against us? And that is the inquiry that's going to start right now. I'm off to the dressing room and these lads are going to get the length of my tongue. When they say I'm the gobby gaffer, well, they're going to know why I'm called gobby. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me a like if you're new around here. Do all the usual stuff, stuff, subscribe, spread the word and all of that kind of thing. And uh, all that's left for me to say is, is well, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. <laughs>